Solve the given linear first order differential equation using integrating factors. dy over dx plus 3y is equal to 2x multiplied by e to the power of negative 3x. So in order to know that it is a first order differential equation, it must be in this format, dy over dx plus p x multiplied by y is equal to qx. And our integrating factor will be, integrating factor also known as if, is equal to e integrating px dx. So first we're going to define our px, which is going to equal 3, and our qx, which is going to be 2x e to the power of 3, negative 3x. So now we're going to find our integrating factor, which is equal to e integrating 3, which is our px, multiplied by dx. So this is equal to e to the power of 3x. So now we're going to take our integrating factor and we're going to multiply our first order differential equation on both sides. So we're going to have dy over dx plus 3y all multiplied by e to the power of 3x, which is equal to 2xe to the power of negative 3x multiplied by e to the power of 3x. So now we're going to distribute. So this is going to be e to the power of 3x dy over dx plus e to the 3x multiplied by 3y which is equal to 2x e to the negative 3x multiplied by e 3x. So now we're going to simplify this further. So the right side, if you look closely, it is just multiplying multiplication of two variables. So for example, if we set our u equal to e to the power of 3x, and we took the derivative of it, it would be 3e to the power of 3x. And if we set our dv equal to dy over dx, right here, our v would just equal y. So our u is right here, our du is 3 times e to the power of 3x. Our dv is right here in our equation, and our v is right here. So this is also known as u times dv over dx plus v multiplied by du over dx. So we can write the right side as d over dx multiplied by our u, which is e to the power of 3x multiplied by y. So this is going to further simplify our equation to d over dx multiplied by e to the power of 3x times y, which is going to equal our right side, or left side, sorry. So that's 2x. And because we have e to the power of 3x times e to the power, sorry, e to the power of negative 3x times e to the power of 3x, 
This is an exponential rule and we can add them, add the exponents. So the exponents are going to be negative 3x plus 3x, which is just 0. So e to the 0 is just 1. So our right side is just going to be 2x. So now we can bring the dx, d over dx, to the right side. And our equation is going to be e to the 3x times y, which is equal to the integral of 2x dx. So now we now this is in simplest form, and we can take the integral of the right side. So this is going to equal e 3x times y, which is equal to 2. And since the, our exponent here is 1, we're going to add 1. And the, our new exponent is going to be 2. So we're going to have x to the power of 2 divided by 1 half. Plus c. And now we're going to rewrite this in terms of y. So our y is going to equal, so the 2's are going to cancel out. So it's going to be x to the power of 2 plus c over e to the power of 3x. And that is going to be our final answer. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe.